Hi guys, this is Ken from Tech Open back again with another video, this time to show you the unboxing of a little gaming mouse pad. So this is an RGB mouse pad, but it's a low cost one. It's not like a Razer branded one or any top of the line ones. Uh, I'll try and put some links in the description if you want to get this for yourself since it is a better priced uh, item. And you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a gaming mouse pad. Uh, this is a nice little option if you're on a budget. So let's check this out. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, I'd really appreciate if you hit the thumbs up and leave any of your comments in the comment sections. So you can see it says here, RGB mouse pad. Uh, there are some features here on the box. I don't know if you can see this. This has 14 light patterns that you can choose from by pressing the, bu the button on the mouse pad. There's a little button that you press. The cord measures 1.8 meters. It's USB plug and play. I don't think you need like any major drivers. There's no app to control this or anything. It's very basic. And you know, like I said, the only way you can change the lighting is by pressing the button. And you have 14 modes. So let's just open this and see what's inside. I'll try and find some links and put them in the description if you want to get this guys for the best price that I can find. And you can see, there it is. So you can see here on the front, you have the technical specification. That's it, nothing special. You have the cord here, like I said, 1.8 meters long. And it's a USB-A, a conventional USB-A to micro USB. So no USB-C here, but you don't need it anyways because it really wouldn't matter here, I guess. And yeah, it's fairly long. It's a braided cable. You can see what the cable's like. Fairly high quality. All you have to do is plug this into your USB port. And then you plug this back in here. So you have this little port here on this side. And it already lights up. And this is actually where you control the lighting by pressing this little button here. You can see this little button here. That's where you control the lights. So I'm basically going to show you the lighting patterns that you can choose from the 14, the 14 lighting patterns. And um, overall, the quality is pretty okay. Not like nothing special. Uh, right here where the button is, there's a slight little raise here. You can feel a little bit of a raise, but it feels nice. And the mouse here feels nice as well. Glides pretty, pretty well, you can see this little wireless mouse that I have here. And it's it's large enough, but I would have liked a little bit of a larger mouse pad. It depends on what you're looking for. And if you have like a gaming setup with an RGB keyboard, RGB lights, uh, if you have some nano leaves, that will, this would look nice with that. I don't have those lights yet, but I will have them uh, sooner or later. I did two reviews of Razer keyboards on the channel. You can check out that on the videos that I have on my channel. Uh, here you can see the LED strip. Let me see if I can show you this in detail. So it's kind of a plastic material. You can see it goes all the way around. And the bottom part, like I said, is rubber. You have a rubber surface so it doesn't slip and it works well. I don't see any slip whatsoever. Uh, yeah, so let's check out the lights now. I'm gonna press this and it's now off. So you have this mode right here. Let me just lower the lights here a bit, guys. You can see this a little bit better. Let's see if I can turn off the lights to see this a little bit better. This might be a little bit grainy, the video, but this is more or less the idea. So it's changing through all the colors, it's shifting through all the colors. So this one's changing the colors, it's actually blending colors. On the other one we had a solid color all around that would shift, and now we have mix, mixes of colors. We have colors mixing right now. So this effect is pretty cool as well. And next mode is this one, so I believe it's solid color you can pick through uh, one of the color of the solid colors so you have red blue green purple or magenta you have this light blue orange or yellow 
a uh, very light pink and red. Oh, this is another mode. So it's actually shifting around like this. It's going in circles, I think, and changing colors at the same time. This other mode. blinks it doesn't it doesn't fade it blinks into another color it actually shifts right away into another color and it's mixing colors together as well then you have this mode and it's off so that's all the modes that are available in the mouse pad let me turn on the lights again uh, so another thing I would like to note is that there is no USB pass-through, so you can't connect your mouse to this. See, there's no way for me to connect my mouse here. So the only way is to make sure that you have enough ports on your uh, laptop or on your desktop to have this one connected to one port and your mouse connected to another one or your, or your, your Bluetooth adapter for your mouse. So that's unfortunate. It would be nice to have a little USB pass-through. So that's a minus right there. That I, I don't like, but whatever. It's a cheap mouse pad. You can't expect much from this. And uh, yeah, guys, I guess this is basically it. So the mouse works perfectly. I can see that um, it works fine. There's also another way that you can switch off the mouse pad without having to go through all the modes by pressing this various times. You have to long press this for, I believe, around three seconds. So let's do, let's test it. One, two, three, four, four seconds. So you can also long press, so you, in order to switch this off, you won't have to go through all the modes so you reach the off mode. You just long press that for like three or four seconds and it'll turn off. So yeah guys, this is it. This has been a really quick review of the uh, low cost gaming RGB mouse pad that you can get online. Like I said, I'll try and put some links in the description for you to get this for yourselves. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.